Replicant is a free and open source operating system based on the Android mobile platform, which aims to replace all proprietary Android components with their free software counterparts. This also makes it a security focused operating system as it closes discovered Android backdoors. It is available for several smartphones and tablet computers. The name Replicant is drawn from the fictional replicant androids in the Blade Runner movie. Replicant is sponsored and supported by the Free Software Foundation. History The Replicant project started in mid-2010 with an effort to consolidate various initiatives attempting to produce a fully free as in freedom Android derivative for the HTC Dream. The original team consisted of Bradley M. Kuhn, Aaron Williamson, Great Ciano Sorbaioli and Dennis Euro New 2 or Euro Unregistered Trademark Carrot Lee. The project quickly led to the writing of replacement code for the non-free parts that were required to make the HTC Dream functional. The first component to be replaced permitted audio to work without a proprietary library. Replicant originally provided its own FOSS application repository, which was later replaced by F-Droid. The software that was in charge of handling the communication with the modem was then replaced by free code, thus making the telephony part usable. A library handling the GPS was then adapted from free code that was originally written for another phone and permitted the HTC Dream to have GPS working with Replicant. Early versions of Replicant were based on the Android open source project code, while versions 2.2 and later use Cyanogen Mod as their base in order to make supporting more devices easier. As development continued, many members of the original Replicant team retired from the project, making Dennis Knitter currently the only remaining member from the original team still actively working on the project. In April 2011, Paul Kishiorkoski decided to get involved with the project and gradually became the main Replicant developer, after successfully porting it to the Nexus S and Galaxy S devices. Replicant is sponsored and supported by the Free Software Foundation, which also hosts Replicant source code. Equals releases equals, the following table lists major releases of Replicant. Security. In March 2014, Replicant developers found and closed a backdoor present in a wide range of Samsung Galaxy products that allows the baseband processor to read and write the device's storage sometimes with normal user privileges and sometimes as the root user depending on device model. It is unknown whether Samsung's proprietary firmware for the radio chip can be remotely instructed to use these access features and whether the vulnerability was introduced with legitimate uses in mind. Development On January 3, 2013, the project released Replicant 4.0 SDK as a fully Libre replacement to Android SDK. The Replicant SDK was released in response to Google updating the license for add-ons and binaries under a proprietary agreement. Hardware support equals supported devices equals scope of the Replicant project has been gradually expanded to include support for new devices, starting with the Nexus One, Nexus S and Galaxy S Replicant developers are continually working to add support for new devices. As of January 2014, the following devices are supported, with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth requiring proprietary firmware in order to work. Likely additions, additional target devices are evaluated, based on the suitability of their hardware platforms and required device drivers. As of January 2014, devices listed below are not yet supported, and porting replicant to them is only in consideration. In November 2013, it was announced that Replicant could work on a Fairphone device and that the bootloaders may even be free software. The Fairphone team seemed definitely interested in helping to get Replicant ported to the device. In December 2014, Fairphone admitted that it had failed to convince chipset vendor MediaTek to open up the source code for first-generation Fairphones. Equals rejected devices equals based on either the unsuitability of their hardware platforms or the lack of available free software drivers, porting replicant to the devices listed below has been considered and rejected. See also References External links Official website, Replicant Wiki, Replicant Homepage and Roadmap for the Future, Article on Android, Citing Replicant, by Richard Stallman F-Droid, Installable Catalog of FOSS Applications